Welcome to Second Take, the show that focuses on the issues behind the news. Mining UK editor Martin Kramer joins me today to unpack the latest in the mining industry. Welcome, Martin. Thanks, Ashley. Can you tell us about Orion Minerals' plan to build smaller but get base metals into production sooner? Yeah, you know, so going on for years now has been Orion Minerals with Prisca and the projects uh, now uh, in O'Keep. They listed on the uh, stock exchange in Australia, they listed on the stock exchange in Johannesburg. So they're a very well founded business. But they found it impossible to go along with the old model that we used to have of banks, you know, providing 60 to 70 percent and then equity being at about 40 or 30 percent. They say that model's out now. The banks are totally risk averse. You just cannot raise that money. Mm -hmm. So what they're doing is they're going to go in which I think is probably a better way, go for value rather than volume at the start. So they've, they've linked up with a company that's a specialist in doing things by bite sizes. You know, you go into a project and instead of doing it in a very big manner, you start doing it in a modular fashion. And that small module then gives you cash to actually start funding the next one. And so you're almost bankrolling yourself and uh, they've got the, the spurt of capital that they need to get going. They've also got uh, the IDC involved there. And they've got now Clover Alloys, which is really good at this. So we're going to have base metals coming out of there, you know, which we needed to have the copper and the zinc and all the other metals that will eventually come out. And even the refining side of it later on this new model of just going in slowly, slowly, biting sending out the, the metals, getting paid for those, and then moving into your next module. And it's going to be a far better one, I think, because even after four years, they might have, in the past, not had metal sold. Now they're going to have metal sold far earlier. So perhaps this is a model that, that juniors can follow. You know, you get that initial spurt of cash to get you going from people who have taken up equity, mm -hmm. and then you, you use what you produce to fund your next move. I think it's quite a good one. It'll be slower, but I think it's a, it's a better way of doing things. Now, Rifle Shots Delhi Naidu believes that exploration and investment is the key to get the economy going. Yes, well, you know, we wouldn't be sitting here if we didn't get foreign investment more than 100 years ago to look for gold and diamonds. So it was actually exploration that is enabling us to sit here and have these pictures of Joburg behind us because it wouldn't have been here. So what he's saying is we need to do a repeat performance of that because we've got such a potential from a point of view of minerals in this country, but no one is exploring for them because we've never had a proper culture of exploration. So he's saying, let's do it again. This time you go in with the exploration and it starts spurting out with a mine and then that mine you know, just floats so many other boats. And we can do it inclusively. And I think it, with this cadaster going to be put in place soon, this is a model we need to follow. We can really spark this economy again by going into exploration, attracting foreign investment. Let's follow what the other countries do. You know, they come in, they drill. But if you get a mine going after that, you know, you get such spin-off. And as we've shown by sitting here, you know, hundred and plenty years later. And so it was a good idea, I think, that he proposed that um, let's try and repeat this. Lastly, Martin, Exaro is building a 68 megawatt solar power plant in Limpopo. Yeah, this is fantastic how the mines are going ahead, you know, and building clean power. And they're doing it with a business case because, you know, it's far cheaper for them. And so this is even exceptional because this is a coal mine. <laughs> so, you know, coal is used to produce our coal-fired power now. But they're saying, no, we must be conscious of our carbon footprint. We must get going on cleaner energy, greener energy. And that's why they've created a big new synergy business behind them that will spurt uh, them into all sorts of more renewable energy activities. They're already producing wind energy in a big way. And they've been doing that for several years now. This will be their move into solar, which is going to be just the start. So you have coal companies becoming energy companies. It's a very good way to go. And as you need that coal, you've still got it from these mines. But 
as you start moving out of coal, these companies are still going flat out because, you know, the company Synergy that they use to produce wind, I mean, the profit margin on that is, the, the margins of profit are 80%. So, you know, this is a good business to go into. So they're looking at a lot more projects also in Africa. And I think that they, they've really shown early signs of understanding, you know, where the world is going. Thanks for speaking with us, Martin. It's a great pleasure, Stephanie. That's it for today. Join us again next week for more news analysis on the local and global mining industries. Do subscribe to Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Please email subscriptions at cremamedia.ca.za.